Hey, scientists! Today we're answering the question, how can we create a chain reaction? You may also have heard this described as a domino effect or a Rube Goldberg. So basically, we're just trying to knock over a bunch of objects in a sequence, which means one right after the other. Let's see what we were able to create. You can see behind me here that I've used a bunch of trash I've been saving or recycling to kind of create something similar to dominoes or bowling pins to try and knock down. So I have a bunch of plastic bottles stacked over there and then some random objects like toilet paper tubes, an old medicine bottle, a mouthwash bottle, soap bottle, and even a hair dye bottle to try and knock them over. I'm gonna go bowling with first a little stress ball I could find lying around the house. And then I'm also gonna use a roll of tape as a ball. Let's see how I do. Okay, I totally missed. <laughs> Let me try this one. Oh, I did not get that many. Okay, let me try again. What if I use, I bet if I use something heavier, I might be able to knock more down. Let me try. Okay, this time I found a dumbbell, which is one of my weights I use when I'm working out. Let's see if I can knock more down. Okay, that didn't work either. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try again. Yes! I got way more down that time. Okay, let me try this tower. Let's see how I do. Oh! All of them down! What you're looking at is a chain reaction I've tried to create using a series of random objects lying around the house, some balls, dominoes, old recycling, a pair of pantyhose, and a few books. Let's see if I can get it to work. I'm gonna swing a cup I made as a pendulum to try and knock over a few balls. Okay, that didn't quite work. Let me see if I can push it. And the ball's still there. So let me swing the pantyhose. Oh, it went in 50 points. 